guys, Dean Albert Hug Princess, and welcome, one, welcome back. This is a Vera Bradley haul video from the recent online outlet sale. Most of the items I got were planned as gifts, but all great items to share. So the first item I got is a collegiate throw. This is the extra large throw. Obviously, it's Arizona, so it's a... Um, navy blue with white and it's the mini concerto pattern if you're familiar with some of the older Vera Bradley. Um, this is a retired style, long retired actually. They're um, even doing a bunch of, I don't want to say retiring the new collegiate one, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I got this one because there's a young lady who watches my dog when I go into the hospital and I always try to give her a little something for it because it's way better than paying for boarding, which Kelly would hate anyways. And so anyways, this is perfect for her. She went to undergrad there and she's going to law school there. She's going to graduate this year. So hoping I don't need her services again anytime soon. Um, but worst case, this will be a graduation present for her. So anyways, it is an extra large collegiate throw with Arizona. And it feels just like a traditional throw. It is an older style, so it is um, the older quality, if you will. But it's very nice and very simple. And there you go. Um, then I also got, this is basically the new collegiate style, which is, there was a lot of these blankets on there. Now these ones that I got are generic. They are not collegiate technically. They're just plush extra large throws because they are not school specific. They're just colors. So I got them for different people for different reasons. Now this one is royal blue with white and it's not quite as soft as the other one even though the, the name is a plush throw. Um, so, I, you know, it's just the, the variances over the years as the blankets change and whatnot. It's a nice throw, but it's not the same quality. So I like the older stuff, just for reference. But I do like the colors and style of this as well. It's like uh, just paisley silhouettes, uh, not silhouettes, but outlines. Um, now, interestingly enough, all of these, the first one was ripped open, but the rest of them are actually just, they were never closed. So peel and strip is still on there, so I can seal these later. Um, I still don't want to open it up, but anyways, this is a gift. This is Air Force Colors for a friend. Um, they do make an Air Force blanket, by the way, but I didn't want to pay full price. These were a smoking hot deal on the online outlet sale for like $12 or something. So yeah, this one is red with black. Um, it is not Arizona colors. Arizona colors are basically red, white, and blue. If this was red with navy blue, that would be perfect. But I bought this blanket. There was this lovely lady at the basketball game. We, I had season tickets to the women's basketball and some of the, the same people sat with me the whole time for the whole season, all the home games. And this lady that sits behind me, she had this lovely little, very lightweight scarf, um, very just, it was red. And it had these little gold threads in it. It was just lovely. And I complimented her on it. And the next game, she gave it to me. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Um, so I got her a blanket, just a surprise. I'm sure the blanket cost more than the scarf, but I mean, come on, it's $12. It was totally worth it, just to surprise her. So I can't wait to give it to her. And then also, the couple that sits next to me, they were going to be gone out of town for a couple of games. And they offered their tickets to me and wouldn't take any money for it. Um, I didn't take both games, but one of the games, a friend of mine and her friend took the seats. So I got them a blanket to say thank you for the tickets. So this is a stand-in Arizona blanket because great deal and great cause. And um, they're going to be so happy and they're going to be surprised for sure. Um, and then I got purple and white because I got one for me and one for my sister who also loves purple. Now that I think about it, I should have got one for my aunt as well. But, okay, it's a sister thing right now. So, my sister and I both got a purple and white one. So, there are two of those. And then the last one that I got is navy with yellow or gold. And this is navy colors, like Naval Academy actually. But 
Navy anyways. And so I got this for my nephew who was in the Navy and whatnot. So that is the blankets. Lots of blankets. That came in a big old box. And then I got other gifty things. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of pull all these over at one time. So Harry Potter stuff from the Forbidden Forest was in the sale as well. So I got uh, one zip ID. I already had an extra one sitting around. So this one's open is what it looks like. It's the Hedwig on the purple velvet. It is quilted, so that is nice. It has a nice ribbed ribbons with the Harry Potter and Vera Bradley on them. And the ring, it's just a zip ID, and it has the Forbidden Forest inside, but it's all the Hedwig stuff. So really cool. So I got another one of those to add to the gift pile. And that could be grab it for a friend, my sister, my cousins, my nieces and nephews, or the nurses of the hospital, and it can go into that pile. In the same vein, I got two wide lanyards and two regular lanyards in that Forbidden Forest pattern to add to the collection. Um, yeah, so that just goes in the gift pile for future never know. And then I also grabbed three of the Zen Gray Lighten Up lanyards. And these are, uh, I wanna say factory style, but they're just like, a, they look like a Heather Gray kind of. But it's a nice neutral color, and I got three of them to add to the pot. I think they were like a dollar or something. I'll put the prices in the remarks as always. Um, but only an outlet sale. You can find things sometimes at a smoking hot deal, and so it's a good time to stock up on future gifts. Um, then these next ones I actually got for me. So first, these three I did not get from the sale. I got these when they originally were released. So I had the um, Peanuts, you know, the Snoopy with the Valentines. I had the Ski Slope Snoopy. Hi, Kelly. Come on. You know? Hi. She comes and licks my elbow and she wants to say hello. I know. It's almost time for bed. Almost. Huh. Ah, thank you. Blah. Okay, good job. Um, anyways, and then this one had a story to it. I'll try and find the video and put it here. But um, what had happened was I had ordered this and they had sent me this. And so when I opened it, I was like, well, thank you, but this is not the one I ordered. And it was because they had a data glitch. There was, the, the website was wrong. The picture, I ordered by the picture. Anyways, it was the wrong one. So what they said was keep the one that we sent you mistakenly and we'll send you another one of these. Um, and so they did, but somehow they sent it to the, my brother's address in Virginia. Of course, nobody was there at all. I, of course, was not there. Um, so I, after a couple months, I was like, hey, that never came. And they ended up refunding me for this item. And then nine months later, when my brother ended up arriving there, there was a package on the gate in plastic, thankfully, and this was in it. So then I called Vera back and I said, hey, you remember that whole thing about the, you sent me the wrong one and then you sent me the right one and then you refunded me for the one that never arrived? Well, now guess what? It arrived and I said, well, just keep it. So good news, bad news, but great customer service in the end through no fault of mine at all. I ended up with two free zip IDs, which is great because they are two that I wanted anyway. So there you go. Um, so I ordered those. So I had those three, and I thought that's a pretty good starter collection there. But on the online outlet sale, they had peanut stuff. Again, smoking hot deal. And I did not even realize when I ordered these that they were zip ID and lanyard. So all three of these comes with a lanyard. So that's cool. I also thought I ordered some duplicates, but it turns out they are all different. So we have the Snoopy with Woodstock on a little saucer, super cute. And this lanyard, of course, matches this one. So that's cool. And they're totally different. This one has a ribbon zipper pull. This one has these little pom-poms on it. So there's that. And then these two, also, these are also from Ski Slope Snoopy as well. Um, but they had the Snoopy. This one matches the tote, which is great. 
and then you have the wood stocks in the um, gondolas. Yeah, so, so two red ones and two gray ones, and now my collection is complete. I actually thought I was gonna buy redundant ones for gifts, but now they're all mine, all mine. So three with pom-poms, one regular, and then two other ones. So yay, I have six peanuts zip IDs. That's fun. All right, next item. This is the multi-strap shoulder bag in floating plum pansies. I love purple, of course, and black with floral is great. Um, the pattern placement, yeah, you know, I don't think you can get a bad placement, but it doesn't look choppy or redundant or anything, so that looks pretty good overall. Really happy with the colors. Um, I don't have much in this pattern because I liked it, but, you know, money, decisions at the times it came out, I can't even remember what I have now, but I definitely have purple stuff to match it and black stuff to match it, so I didn't need to go deep in this pattern. I do like this style of bag. I do have one, um, and I'll put a video here. It was, I think, a navy one, and I did a what's in my bag and a full review of it. Uh, we'll look at it here now, but I do know there's a couple things I like and don't like about it. It's a great medium-sized bag, as you can see, and it is tote style, so you have your two handles. However, what I love about it is it also has a removable, adjustable crossbody shoulder strap Hang on, that's tucked under the zipper. So, there you go. And that, of course, is the matching pattern and material. And it's got metal clips and all that, so it's great. So you can use it as a crossbody shoulder bag or you can use it as a tote. I also like that it has these metal rectangular rings so that when you're not using the straps, they lay flat. One thing I would have changed about this bag is this. On the front of the bag, and I know it's the front because it has the metal plate down here for Vera Bradley. It has a slip pocket. It is magnetic closure, which is great. And it goes um, to here, so just outside the straps. Now I'm not sure why it stops there versus all the way across or why, whatever, it's fine. I actually like this pocket a lot and I love that it has that magnetic closure. So you can get into it with the strap above or you can leave the strap down and you can really still get into it. What I like about it is if I'm not using this strap, I'm using the crossbody shoulder, I can actually tuck this strap into that pocket completely and the magnet will just hide it perfectly. I love that. What I don't like about it is there is a slip pocket on the back which is not magnetic. Okay, that's fine but it also only goes from inside of the strap to inside of the strap. Why is it not the full width like the other one? So this one, because it stops here, does not hide the strap as well. I mean, you can kind of tuck it in there, but it's one, not worthwhile, two, doesn't really work. And yeah, so nah, why? I wouldn't it be cool if both sides had that tuckable option because that would make it a convertible bag. However, here's my iPhone 13 Pro Max. It does fit nicely and easily into that pocket and it's right at the top. And so it's easily accessible on the slip. If I put it in this pocket, guess what? It still fits. Here, I'll even take the strap out. Uh, it still fits in there. It's actually a deeper pocket, so the magnet does close on top of it. And even if it moves around in that pocket, which it will, it's still in a position I can grab it, so. I wish both pockets were the same like that. That's just my own opinion. Um, okay, so that's it for the outside. It has magnetic and just a slip on the back. And then the top closure is a flapped closure. So you do get the full use of the bag all the way up. And when you're not using it, you can unzip it all the way to the end and then tuck that zipper in. But it lays flat inside, so because of that flap, it doesn't get in your way when you're not, not excuse me, hiccups, um, not zipped up. So inside the bag for organization, you have a zipper pocket on the back and two slip pockets on the front. And that is all your organization. Here is the size of the bag. So it is pretty big. I mean, it's a medium, maybe even medium to large, depending on your sizing. For me, it's a medium handbag. 
um, for sure. But it fits all my daily needs, no problem. And it's great to carry around. The Performance Twill, of course, is water resistant. It is a little bit heavier than a cotton one would be. I did have a question about that recently. Um, both are great options. And I do like this interior pattern as well. It's just a geometric purple flowers. But it makes it not a deep dark black hole because it's broken up with that pattern. Um, okay, so that is the multi-strap handbag in Performance Twill Floating Plum Pansies. Um, it does arrive like this, flat. So it does need some training because there's a seam on the back there where it's folded. But for storage, it stores nice and flat like that, which is nice. Okay, and the last item I got, I definitely didn't need. Um, and I really should have grabbed a Weekender, but it is um, basically the size of a Weekender. But it's the um, utility travel bag in Java Navy camo. I really enjoy this pattern. I've got a lot of pieces in this pattern. Not everything, but quite a bit. Um, I have the utility tote. I've got some other um, accessory pieces. But I got this thinking, well, one, who doesn't need another travel bag? Always a good thing to have. I definitely don't need another one. Um, but I also thought this could be good. You know, I've done a couple of pickleball tournaments lately, and I pack a bunch of extra clothes, even daily, because it's winter in Tucson. So... You go from hot to cold to hot to cold. Um, maybe you start playing and you had some layers on, you peel them off as you're playing, but then you get sweaty and then the, it gets sunset, so now it gets cold again. So I take a lot of extra layers with me. I've got two paddles now. One is, in fact, Java Navy Camo, um, which, by the way, was disqualified in my tournament. So I bought a new paddle, so that won't happen to me. Um, anyways, longer story, but maybe I'll do a whole video about that. If you're interested in the paddle discussion leave me a note down below and uh, i'll get back to you on the story um, but this is a nice bag i really do like it it is recycled cotton it is the utility style so it's padded but not quilted and yeah so let's go over it it has top carry handles just like the weekender style um, to me off the top of my head it's kind of bigger than a weekender I don't know I'd have to look at the numbers there but to me subjectively it's more like between the weekender and the grand traveler if you remember the grand traveler but it's big on the front it has a big wide pocket I wish that this pocket was magnetic but the whole utility thing happened so it's actually a clip closure that is okay and it is one hand openable you just pinch and pull but um, it is a big pocket so it does have a gusset of its own it's got I would say one and a half fingers thick there. So you could put a good amount of stuff inside that pocket, but I wouldn't put any small or loose items that if the bag tilts or, or tumbles, that's gonna come out because it does only have that clip closure. So, I mean, it doesn't zip and it doesn't magnet down, but it won't just flap open. So, but small things could still tumble out. Anyway, there's no slip behind it, no other pockets on the front. The tag is just a simple little fabric tag down here with Vera Bradley on one side and Consciously Crafted on the other. On the back, you don't have any pockets at all. Well, okay, I take that back. You don't have a pocket in this main part. It's just a giant trolley sleeve. It doesn't have the zipper on the bottom to use it as a slip when you're not using it as a sleeve. I wish it did because that would be utility. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it's just a big slip. That's all you have there. And it goes, you know, all the way to the sides of the bag. Um, above that, well, let me start there. If you're not using this strap, you could tuck it into the sleeve. That is fine. It would disappear there. Um, I don't know that I would need to do that at all. And the front one doesn't disappear. So again, you have only one sided hiding. Behind that, you do have a pocket on the back of the bag. It is right here, zipper pocket on the top. It goes most of the way across. I think this is intended to be like a laptop bag or something, maybe. I don't know that for a fact because the front part here, or the back of the bag is padded, but the middle section isn't. It's just fabric, two layers of cotton fabric. Um, kind of like that layer in the XL Campus backpack that's just fabric between them. So they're gonna like if you have hard stuff in this pocket, it's gonna bang on this. So I don't know. 
but it is big enough for a laptop for sure, a tablet, some magazines. Mostly flat stuff though, because it does have a little bit of gusset to it interior. So probably about, about the same as the front pocket. It's about a finger, maybe, maybe two fingers um, of space there. So you have a little bit of space in that pocket. And then the rest of the bag, you have the interior pocket. You have two big mesh elastic slips on one side and on the other side, nothing. You do have that pretty olive with the navy pattern on it and that's pretty much it for the inside. There's no compartments, but it is a very large travel bag. Look at the base of it. It's quite big, it's huge. So there are no feet and it is just recycled cotton. So it is kind of vulnerable to like corner damage from use or getting dirty when you set it down. Um, if you're using it as your solo carry-on, no problem, it can go on the overhead, but if you put it below your seat, yeah, that's not my preference. I like bags that are wipeable to go down there, if I can, it's not always the case. And then it does also have pockets on the side, so big, deep cargo pockets on both sides. On the one side, it does have a cinch strap, so um, depending on what you're putting in there, that might be useful. It does also unclip. So if you wanted to clip something through that, um, maybe you wanted to clip a baseball hat or um, a neck pillow or something, you could clip it on that way, right there on the side. Okay, it does come with a removable strap. Um, but here's the thing about this strap. It does have metal fittings, metal hooks on it. But the strap where it hooks on to the bag is a fabric loop. Um, durability wise, I'm not sure that's the best answer. Maybe it is, um, but it seems fairly well tacked in. I just think that that insertion is a point of failure. If you have a bag this large, it's gonna carry potentially some really heavy stuff. And if you're carrying it on that strap that is all the weight on the two hooks, I, that might be a problem. In my past experience um, with other bags, other brands, other times, I, it's happened a lot. So we'll see. But this strap is adjustable. It is removable, obviously. But it's a seat belt strap. It has a slide adjustment loop there. And on the ends, you have the tabs of fabric there that matches the bag, of course. And the rest is just the navy seat belt. So there you go. It does have a loop to kind of tether that extra strap. So you can slide that up or down to kind of keep that from splitting, you know, when you're carrying it around stuff. You can do that as you want. So that does work, and you have that. Let me just put that back onto the thing and put it back inside the bag. Okay, the other thing is, where is it? On, here it is. So on the front of the bag, on this handle, you also have this fabric loop here. So you can clip a luggage tag or a bag charm or your keys. You can clip things onto that little strap if you so desire. And it actually does go on both sides of the strap. It's sewn on on the sides, but you can clip on front and back or whatever if you wanted. So, for me, I might put like a hand sanitizer and a chapstick on there. Some quick access items that I don't really, I'm not worried about losing per se, but I want quick access to. That's a good idea for me. Um, but I actually bought this bag, not for travel. I bought it, like I said, to use kind of as a gym bag or a duffel bag and just kind of throw, I can fit both my paddles in here. I can fit my water bottle in here. I could put it outside or inside. I can put some extra socks, I can put my shoes if I want, if I'm doing something after and I wanna put my Crocs in there, I can do that. Like if I wanna to run to the grocery store on the way home and I don't wanna be running around in my pickleball shoes, stuff like that. I mean, I just, I have a bag that I use and if I do that video, which I will do, I'll just put on my list of videos to do the paddle discussion and I'll show you what's in my bag for pickleball. Um, but it won't be this bag, it'll be the bag I'm currently using. So stay tuned for more videos. Um, but yeah, so this bag, um, it's, a, it's a great travel bag, I think. Um, 
we'll see how durable it is. Once again, it does come with the bottom folded up. The bottom has just a little bit of semi-rooted structure in there. Um, there's something in there. I don't know if it's, I mean, it doesn't feel like cardboard. It might be like a thin thing. It's just got a little bit of structure, but it's folded up on the back of the bag. So once again, it lays flat for storage. Um, that is the way it traveled to me. And so even though it would require training, once you put stuff in the bag, it's fine. It'll stand up just fine on its own. But that's how I'm gonna store it, just like that, until I use it, which maybe sooner, maybe later, I never know. There's a lot of bags to choose from. The bag I am using, just FYI, so you know what to look for, is my um, Sean Johnson sports backpack drawstring thing. And it's in reactive, which is waterproof. So for me, with sweaty stuff or whatever, that's a better option and it's very quick wipe or or whatnot. And it has some internal plastic lined pockets as well, which this one doesn't. So that gives me some other options there. But anyway, that's it for this one. I do have a couple of items coming from the President's Day sale, 25% off, and plus 15% military for me. If you were shopping and you want a code for a discount and you don't have your military first responder, nurses, teachers, whatever, um, then you can use Warthog Princess. I always put that in my remarks, um, but it will save you an extra 10%. I do alibi up front. I do get a 10% commission as well, so win-win for both of us. But your better deal is if you're ordering online or from Vera Bradley retail stores, your better deal is the military discount. If you're going to the outlet store, then your better deal, if you're getting just one item, military is your better deal. But if you're getting more than one item, the ambassador codes for 10% off everything is your better deal. And they do stack with sales, so that is good. It's not good um, for any of the items like peanuts or Star Wars or you know, any of the um, exclusive limited things, the specialty collections. Um, it's not good on any of those, unfortunately. No coupons are. Um, and the ambassador codes do not work for the online outlet sale, sorry. Um, not for any of us, so say la vie. And yeah, so that catches up with that if you didn't know all that. But have fun shopping and be well. And happy hump day. Bye for now.